Mud Squad. Welcome back to another topic video. Today's topic is going to be get organized. But before we get started, uh, please go down below, hit that subscription button and bell so you know when I post a new video, live stream, or premiere. Also, like, share, or subscribe. So, like I say, today's uh, topic is get organized. Reach your long term goals and accelerate your career or just accelerate in general with these eight steps. Success is a result of long-term planning and daily action. Good organization helps you gain control of your time so you can plan and complete the tasks you need to achieve uh, your goals. Here are eight organizational tips that will help you reach your long-term work goals or just your goals in general. Focus on what is important. Remind yourself your long-term goals and revise them when necessary. Set daily priorities to meet your goals. Keep photos of your family or inspirational pictures nearby. Those can help motivate you to, uh, you know, strive to reach your goals. Make lists. Number two, make lists. I do this all the time. I have notebooks all over the place with stuff written down in them where I'm always making lists. Make daily, weekly, and monthly to-do lists of important tasks. Review your daily priorities at the beginning of each day. I actually have a calendar um, book that um, I write down every single video on the date it's supposed to be published and I have it color coordinated if I've filmed it, if it needs to be filmed, if I filmed it or edited it, and if it needs to be posted, if it's been posted, just to keep myself on track. If I don't have that, I will get so off track. And I've actually, that's happened to me um, the past couple months with some stuff going on. I've actually gotten off track. Number three, manage your time well. Schedule quiet time at work to accomplish tasks that need extra concentration. Do your most challenging work when your energy is at its highest. Save less demanding work for other times. If you tend to procrastinate, and I do that sometimes, focus on the sense of accomplishment you will feel when your job is done. Use um, commute time to plan your day's activities. So use your downtime um, to plan your day, your downtime the night before. You can plan your um, activities for the next day. Number four, use calendars and planners. I do this all the time. Check your work calendar or just your calendar in general. I actually hate mine is my, just my YouTube uh, planner um, daily to review your activities and avoid conflicts. Write down all your um, commitments in pencil rather than, than uh, trusting your memory. Use planning, use planning and scheduling forms and software to help you map out long-term projects. So if there's something that um, I know is going to take me days to work on, I will actually, I have a notebook. I will sit down and I will write out all the steps, what I want to get uh, accomplished um, day by, you know, day by day till the, the project has to be finished. Number five, and this one goes if you've got a, um, a work staff or some that, you know, other people that help you out. Delegate tasks. Assign tasks to others when the task is not on your level of expertise. Provide adequate training and feedback um, on assigned projects. Um, that one actually doesn't pertain to me right now because I'm a solo um, YouTuber. So um, I don't have any staff that um, edits or anything for me. So... Um, every, I do everything. Six, manage your mail and phone calls. 
sort incoming mail, sort incoming mail into categories by priority or action. Use voicemail to screen your phone calls. I, I've always used voicemail to screen my phone calls as long as I've had voicemail. Um, and as for um, my emails or my regular mail, um, mostly my regular mail is just if I'm having freebies come in. But my emails, um, I, I do. I, I prioritize those and sort those out. Seven, reduce clutter. Clear your workspace, which I just recently done this. Keep only the most critical items and information you need daily on top of your desk. Archive resources, resource materials you rarely use. Toss out duplicate information and materials that will soon be outdated. Leave blank space on bookshelves for growth. Um, I don't have... I, I, I have to get more shelving because I'm starting to run out of room for um, craft stuff. And number eight, finally, but not, you know, that. Stay organized. Organize files by priority and keep the most important ones within arm's reach. Spend 15 minutes. The... Uh, 15 minutes at the end of each day cleaning your desk and 15 minutes the next morning planning for your day's activities. Review items one through seven on the list. That is it. I hope this helps somebody. Um, please go down below, hit that subscription button and bell so you know when I post a new video, live stream or premiere. Also like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.